Dicky Mass. There we go. Out the door. <laughs> well, I already said you Dicky Mass. That's what happens when you try to stage a video. It doesn't always come out. <laughs> I already said goodbye once if I said it really loud again. I went, well, why are you saying goodbye twice? Anyway, this is clearly my place where I live. So I wanted to start this video by showing that. It's our little place right there. And then goes the car. This uh, building over here, notice how few footsteps I do. This is owned by my wife. Son. And just back here, see where that house is? Right there? Back in the feudal period, that's where the local samurai had his place. So uh, he was really close. A lot of this land here was owned by my wife's family. And we're taking probably about 30 steps now. I went on 40. Now this land here was my wife's, when we first moved here, this was actually an empty house that I used for storage. That's my wife's parents' house, right, right here, right there. There it is. So right there, this whole land, and they had previously had all of this land all across there. So why am I showing you this? Well, I wanted to show you how close we live to our in-laws. This is day uh, seven. I'll call this uh, the day day seven video and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the thoughts I'll show you the Genkan the entrance the thoughts going through my mind as we do our countdown to a potential life-changing event so here this is my wife's family's place right here okay the door only locks from the inside you can't lock it from the outside so if they ever go anywhere they have to lock it from the inside and someone has to go around and sneak out the kitchen to get out so the, it's funny it's, a, it's an old style door um, in uh, seven days, exactly seven days, at about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll be taking, uh, having an interview that uh, could change our lives dramatically. And there's no guarantee, one way or the other, how this will go. But, and I'm not going to talk really about the job so much anymore. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll leave that for perhaps after, because I may not get the job. And so it's, <clears throat> we'll see what happens. But it is interesting to try and capture some of the thoughts, or at least I hope so, going leading up to it, the kind of things that uh, I remember having similar thoughts the last time my wife and I did this, which was, gosh, gosh, 1991, 92, 92 I think it was, when we moved from Japan back to the States. Then our lives were much simpler then. We weren't married. We, of course, we didn't have any children. Our lives were pretty easy. But I remember having thoughts, and I don't... I think we have recorded the process very well, so I'm going to try and capture some of the considerations. Now, today's the subject of today's video, the Day 7 video, will be an, an important issue that's in our minds related to our external responsibilities, external, external to our nuclear family. Like I said, when we moved last time, it was pretty simple. We just had to think about ourselves for the most part. Now we have a, a, a daughter, of course, to think about, and I'll talk about that in in another video. Um, and we also have our extended family who in 1992 were able-bodied adults on their own right, but now in 2013 are senior citizens. And though still relatively able-bodied, uh, we, you know, of course we have to anticipate the future and be ready for that. So here's the situation laid out that my wife and I have been uh, talking about the last, well, we've talked about that a lot, but especially in the last couple of days, um, especially because in an event occurred two nights ago that made us, uh, gave us cause to think about this <clears throat> more so. We have two families, an American family and a Japanese family. We have, in our marriage, we have, uh, between those two families, we have three uh, senior citizen parents, my wife's mother and father and my mother. And in that mix, we also have one, two, three, four, five adult children. Six, really, but we won't count the one guy. <laughs> Every family has one, right? And uh, so, as they're, no, 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 the, these, the senior parents are mid-70s, you know, in some cases closing in on 80s, and uh, definitely uh, undergoing or experiencing some, some challenges, uh, physically and otherwise which are going to necessitate closer attention and, in, and uh, care in the future. So here's the thing. My wife and I are trying to, to think about if, if we leave Japan, what kind of responsibilities do we leave uh, her siblings 
by departing. Because as you can see, we've been very close. We're, you know, they don't need us a lot. It turns out we came here to Japan in part to be closer to her parents in case he needed us. In the last decade, they really haven't needed us much. But that's probably going to change in the, in, the, in the coming decade. And what kind of responsibilities are we leaving them behind if we go like this? We were feeling pretty guilty about it. On the, on the flip side, we have my mother, who when we left to come to Japan in the first place, she was married, living in another part of the country, and uh, doing all right. Now that's no longer the case. She's, she's single, uh, living alone, on, trying to get by on Social Security in one of the most expensive states in the Union, the United States Union, California. And uh, that, that, and my brother is, is quite, uh, he's got two kids under three years old. So his, his attentions are, are quite uh, uh, drawn out elsewhere. And my, Yumiko and I are in pretty good shape now with Emily getting older. We could uh, take on some of that responsibility. So we, we, we've had a lot of talks about going back and forth. And what I think what it's come down to is if you look at the balance of the things, four adult kids, th three seniors. Right now we have... No, five, four, five adult kids and three seniors. Right now we have four of them, four of the adult kids in Japan and only just one in the States. It seems that it would be a better balance to have the two of my brother and I in the States, our family's there, and then, the, and then my wife's family, her siblings are all in the same neighborhood as well. And uh, if we're living in California, then we're all going to be close. We'll be, we'll, our, basically all of our parents will have uh, uh, children nearby that can help. Also, moving to the States will put us in a better financial situation, which will be, uh, allow us to contribute not only to the care and uptake of, my, of our own mother, my own mother, but also contribute to the aid over here on this end. So I think we've kind of resolved that. And it makes better sense for us, even though it's not perfect, even though it does leave us, our siblings here with some extra responsibilities, we think that this would, this would be the best balance. Still, none of this stuff is easy. There's, no, there's never any clear-cut answer is there, with, with these kind of tricky things. I wish you could just kind of divide yourself or, or have us all move into one big uh, communal place. I actually suggested that to my wife. I said, why don't we just get a big, uh, big, big house and all of us move in together and just take it. <laughs> that, that, that got vetoed. Yeah. <laughs> Although my wife, uh, well, I, should, I, I won't talk about that. I'm gonna, that's something I'm going to try and avoid doing in this, these videos is bringing other, because I'm sharing my own ideas. I don't want to drag other people into this public venue. I mean, I don't mind sharing my stuff, but I've got to be careful not to drag others, including my family and their opinions and situations into this situation. Uh, they may not be comfortable with it. And it's kind of a tricky thing to do when you, when you get, I get so used to sharing everything, but, I, but I'm talking about a situation now that involves others and I can uh, protect their privacy. So uh, I'll try to talk around some things without them talking about them specifically. Okay, I think that's it for today. So uh, seven days out, uh, and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on what happens. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.